Hello and welcome back to the advanced course on our programming. In this tutorial, we're going to proceed with correcting our data set. And today we're talking about correcting data through factual analysis. So this is the case where you are able to restore data with 100% certainty. Let's go back to our Excel document and see where this is going to be the case. So here in this, uh, in these states, you know, or in these cases where we're missing the state, we can restore it to 100% certainty because we know the city, right? So if we know the city, then we can restore the state, right? Like here, San Francisco would be California. And then also we can calculate expenses with 100% certainty, assuming that there's no fraud and there's no errors uh, because it is uh, revenue minus profit, basically revenue minus profit. And then once we populate uh, two of these columns, we can calculate the third one as well. But we're not going to worry about these for now. We're going to focus on the state column and we're going to see how we can restore the values in the state column. So let's go ahead and do that. So back to our data set, if I run this line, I will get all of the columns that have missing values and uh, bear in mind that we have already removed two. We've removed uh, two from the industry. So we've removed two rows from the data set that had NAs in the industry column. And now we're going to focus on the state column. All right, so what are we going to do? First, we're going to single out all the rows in the state column that have an A. So we can see that there's four of them. Let's see if we can single those four out. We're gonna use fin, and then we're gonna use our new type of filter, is NA, and we're gonna say fin dollar state. So we're checking for NAs or missing values in this column, and then we're running this whole subset, and there we go. We've got our subset of rows with NAs in the state column. Beautiful. So what do we do next? Now we want to obviously correct them. We want to fix these with uh, New York and Y and these with uh, California, CA, because New York is in New York, San Francisco is in California. Now we could definitely do them one by one, right? We could do them just based on the ID or row name. And bear in mind that the row name here is now different to the ID because we did remove two rows and then we updated the row names for the whole data frame. Now, that's one of the ways of doing it. Uh, the other way of doing it is to, uh, instead of doing them one by one, to actually add an additional filter and say anything that has New York out of this subset, then apply um, the value. And we're going to take that approach because in this case, we have only four and we could definitely do them one by one. But in a big data set or in a data set with many more missing values, you might have lots and lots of rows that you need to correct and working with them one by one can be uh, too tedious. So let's go ahead and see how we can hit them, hit both of these rows in one go. This one and this one over here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to correct this filter a little bit. We're going to say, yes, we want this subset, but then we want to add another condition. We want to say, and fin dollar sign city equals to New York, right? So we're adding an additional condition to that. So if we run that, now we've got all of the ones that have missing values in the state column and their city is New York. And now it's very simple. From here, we just say uh, we want to address the state column. So in quotation marks, because we're addressing it by name. So the name of the column here, state, and we want to say apply the uh, New York code into that column. If we run that, and now if I look at, so how do I bring these rows up? Because if I run this line, they won't come up anymore, right? So if I just run this line, they won't come up because we don't have any rows because they don't have an A's here anymore. So just to check, so we'll just say check. We're going to bring up them by their row names. So we're going to say fin, and here I want to pass on the numbers 11 and 377 because that's the row names and then I want comma nothing meaning all columns let's have a look at that so as you can see the state has indeed been updated to New York so that is a success great congratulations on that what do we want to do now well now we want to also quickly check this again and see that now we don't have them. So you can see that this subset is getting smaller and smaller every time we fix up our data set. And now we just need to fix up the San Francisco ones. So I'm going to uh, let you pause the video now. If you want to practice, pause the video and see if you can 
update these rows on your own and you need to put in the two letters C A into these rows into the column state and then just so basically perform the same procedures and then unpause the video and then see how we do it together. So there we go. Now I'm going to continue with this in the video. All right. So now we want to look for fin basically. Uh, well, fin is in a state. We know that there's going to be just two. So there they are. Once again, we could just do it right away now because they're the same city. So the same state, but just for completeness sake, we're going to copy this line. We're going to change this to San Francisco. Run that. Okay, that's good. And actually, we're just going to copy this line. And we're going to say state. Don't forget the quotation marks. And here we're going to say CA. Run that. And now we're going to check. So fin, what were the numbers there? 82 and 265. Okay, so let's have a look at that. 82 and 265, comma nothing. Run that. There you can see that the state is has been updated to CA. Okay, and uh, finally, let's just look at this again, just to make sure that it's getting smaller. Voila. So we only have six rows left, and we only need to deal with five of them because we agreed that this one we will keep. So beautiful. This one is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, this subset is getting smaller and smaller, and that's very exciting. We're slowly preparing our data for analysis, and that's exactly what we are after in this section. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, happy coding.